The catalyst for a multitude of change in financial services regulation uh, came in 2008 uh, at the head of the, the current financial crisis. And what the regulator did is put a lot of processes, procedures, policies and rules into place that could enable the financial services industry to really make a change. I think the overall objective of the regulatory change over the last decade has all been focused on the integrity of the financial services system. So in March 2016, uh, in actual fact, I was working for a challenger bank at the time in uh, learning and development, and uh, part of my role was to look at supporting the change in the industry around the introduction to the senior manager and certification regime. So it was focused on accountability at the senior manager level, but also about culture and ethics. Recently, in 2017, um, the uh, anti-money laundering legislation was tightened and a fourth directive was added which was all geared again towards uh, enhancing firms' understanding of the regime and looking at current trends and what's going on with counter-terrorist financing and ensuring that there was tools in place to combat financial crime. In January 2018, MIFID II was put together and was launched into the investment industry. The rules around that were all focused around transparency in the industry, better competition and ensuring a level playing field for consumers. So also in early 2018, and there was new uh, legislation and regulation that was put in for retail banks, uh, specifically those that, uh, that hold key information about clients. The ability for them to be able to share that with other financial services industry to improve transparency and get better deals for consumers. Uh, that was called PSD2 and was also known as Open Banking. So one of the largest pieces of regulatory and legislation change that covered all firms across the UK and Europe was the introduction to GDPR which was an extension and enhancement of the existing Data Protection Act. It really focused on the change in why industry has and holds and uses data and individuals. The introduction of the Insurance Distribution Directive or IDD that's only recently launched in October. We're at the forefront of that with our, our key strategic partner, the Chartered Institute of Insurance, and been working with them on a suite of content and a tool to be able to uh, track the 15 hours worth of CPD that all individuals that work or touch an insurance product need to now evidence. The 10th of December is the extension to the senior manager and the certification regime and also the conduct rules as well to another sector of uh, financial services, again hitting the industry of insurance where all firms that offer insurance products and services will now fall part of that core regime. Here at Unicorn we're well prepared for that with updating of our existing suite. In December uh, 2019, the extension, a further extension of the senior manager and certification regime, including conduct rules, will be extended to uh, solo FCA regulated firms. So this is your likes of your uh, consumer credit. Uh, and of course, we know um, from the 1st of April, claims management firms will now fall uh, under the regulator of the FCA. So we'll be included in that. Watch this space for Unicorn's updated content to help prepare you and your firm for what's required.